Hello, I'm Code. I'm Deathbird. And we've got an SE2 talk today. Yeah, and I need to find it again. You want me to send the link to you? Nah, I, I can find it. Just quit. All right. Introduce okay. It. Okay. So one of the topics today, we have three topics. First topic we're talking about is um, a guy named Light, he can't play SE2 anymore because he got a 3.78 GPA. And Deathbrook and I were talking about it, and our opinion is leaning towards why is he grounded from playing SC2? Yeah, it's, I don't know, he just seems like he really shouldn't be in this case. 3.78 is a good GPA, in my eyes. So, I mean, I, unless they're one of those weird schools that has a five-point GPA system, in that case, yeah. then it's... Eh. But I mean, if that, you, if, he, he shouldn't really. I don't know. His parents are probably overreacting in this case. Yeah, I mean, he's taking AB calculus, and that's that's like senior stuff in freshman year. So yeah, in his freshman year. I mean, he's taking two AP classes: um, AP European History and AP Calc. Which is crazy. And, I mean, well, I guess you could you could say that he got a 59% on his math final, which... Which is really, pretty bad. <laughs> which is F, which is an F, a failing grade. So, he, but, it might just be because of that alone, but, again, we wouldn't know because he didn't put anything in. Why, exactly, yeah, other than the GPA? Well, if you look on um, topic four, I mean, forum post four, if you got an F on a freshman level math exam, yeah, you need to spend more time studying, less time doing whatever else you're doing. Yeah. Hey, didn't you find a topic saying, I can't sleep if I get a B or something? Oh, yeah, that is number six. Number six. Let's take a look at that. I cried myself to sleep every night for a month if I had a 3.78 or every night if for a month if I had a 3.78 GPA. <laughs> this guy is too Phil Hooned. And I would actually cry myself to sleep every night <laughs> if I got a 3.5 GPA, to be honest. 3.78 is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's only in his freshman year, so... It shouldn't be harder, better. though, as you go on. Because, yeah, you accumulate more and more. And more. And if you start out with, like, a 3.0, then it's going to be really... Yeah, it's going to be definitely pretty hard to get up there again. But, yeah, that's our first topic. And, Deathbrook, would you like to introduce the second topic? Um... Personally, I thought we were going to do this in separate videos, but sure, why not? All right. All right. Um, wait, what was the second topic? Here, I'll introduce this. You can do the. You can do the third one. Um, do you do you want to like cut it here? Like, no, it's fine. I can I can manually cut it out. Okay. So, third topic: Is it illegal to smurf? Is it illegal? Um, second topic. Yes. <laughs> um, I didn't think it's illegal, but uh, I don't know much about this. Well, okay. Here, let me uh, let me I give you a bad here. So smurfing is basically you make another account to, you know, practice on so that your main doesn't get crushed when you're going into higher levels. Um, what I can say about smurfing is I have another account on StarCraft 2. Um, Although your other account is a different server altogether, isn't it? Yeah, that's true, but it's still counted as smurfing. Really? Because you have, yeah, you have more than one account. Oh, yeah, because I guess you're practicing still. Yeah, but it's actually really hard to ladder on the Asian servers. 
anyway, um, so that's that's about Smurf, and this guy's wondering if it was legal to Smurf his way through Silver or not. Um, so you supposedly get banned. Yes, and you'll get arrested and sent to a maximum security prison. <laughs> Obviously. And, and you get a 10,000 maximum fine, three months maximum jail time for smurfing, and most smurfs get only spending a few days in jail or paying a $500 fine if they have the money. <laughs> so, I wouldn't smurf. I guess, is that guy's message. Yes. Blizzard doesn't ban for anything around here. That's an interesting topic. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of people, like, complaining just in games about them having to get their name changed and stuff like that. Yeah. So maybe not banning, but they're pretty strict with the name stuff. Do you know there's an extremely large list of the stuff that they censor? Really? Yeah. Like, uh, I'll explain one of them in the next to topic, but, like, you have all your regular, like, swear words and everything. Yeah. But I'm, I could be wrong here, but I think they censor Nazi. And they also censor KKK. Why? Um... I don't know. I'm going to check if they censor Nazi quick. Actually, no, I'm okay. not. But, okay. yeah, it, there's a large list of stuff that they censor. Well, I guess so, because, you, I mean, you can use, like, numbers to replace letters, and, yeah, all that crazy stuff. So. That's for topic two. Yeah, that's, that's I guess, that's, yeah. That so, terrible. you want to do topic three, then? Yeah, topic three was one that I found recently. <laughs> this is a guy complaining about necromancy. And if any like of you explain. know anything about necromancy, it's definitely not posting on a thread that's one year, six months, or six month or eight months old. <laughs> so this guy's. <laughs> this guy is um, complaining, but you really shouldn't be posting on threads that are that old anyway. Yeah, I mean... That's... Unless someone asks a new question on it, then... <laughs> even though Why you, don't you, you just still make a new should topic? be posting on something like that if it's that old. This guy's name is Rune K, I think, or Runic? Maybe, I don't know. But don't yeah, know. so... The first serious comment about this comes at number nine. I, I, I think I remember it clearly as in, ghosts are OP. <laughs> Next, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So number nine is, enough with the me necromancy. Uh, no, no, I'm going to read that later. Uh, uh, so comments two through eight are basically people arguing what the definition of necromancy is. So comment two is necrobumping, not necromancy. Necromancy is having imminent relations with a post-humanist being. So necromancy, you know, necrobumping is bumping threads are dead? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. By the way, this thread will probably get necrobumped. <laughs> So yeah, okay. he, he's su Let's... it's supposed to be necro bumping, I guess. <laughs> so necro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a ridiculous topic. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, and then Dor uh, Dorito on number twelve, and he's like, "This sounds sexy." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. So two through nine, or through through two through eight is. Deciding what the definition of necromancy is. So, let's necrophilia. Let's side on here. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to decide. <laughs> Necroing is a thread of portable. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I don't even know how people go into old threads and then how do you report someone if they're necro thread? I mean, that's that. 
how do you know that they're necrothreading? No, that's necrophilia. Necromancy is the forbidden art of raising the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Having intimate relationships. No, no, no. no, no. Necromancy. Necrophilia. Necromancy is having intimate relations with the posthumous being. No, no, that's necrophilia. Necromancy is the forbidden art of raising the dead. Okay, we're debating over... <laughs> well, it, necromancy is when you raise a body with... dead body with magic. Okay. That is... Necropumping. That's... Okay, I'm kind of tired of necro... <laughs> Too many necro... Uh, Alright, so... Down here in number 11, this guy's replying to the dark magic. Or wait, no, where is this? Uh, where does it say dark magic? Uh, number 11? Yeah. So this guy is like, oh, dark magic. And then the next one sounds sexy. So. <laughs> <laughs> number 9 is pretty ridiculous. Ghosts are OP, and some guys like, are you stupid? They have nerfed so much that they're useless. I mean, what do you think of OP threads? Um, they need to be destroyed. Yeah, Except in a way. Any, any OP thread about the mule needs to be kept. <laughs> any? Okay, okay. They need to buff the medevac. Plus one, increase speed. That's how you solve every problem. I don't know if buffing the <laughs> medevac would help. Come on. Come on. You agree. And we were talking about giving workers AA ability. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, why not? Think about it. AA, yeah, we'd all be done for. Yeah, I mean, you would just keep building SCVs, probes, or drones. What if you could, like, power them up? What if you could give them, like, extra health, extra armor, and, like, bonus damage? You mean upgrading them? Yeah, yeah. Just Essentially. Upgrade SCVs and all the workers. It's so powerful that they'd actually be super useful um, in a fight. They, they would be super OP, but let's say yeah. if we do that and then get rid of their ability to mine, then that would be fair. Okay, yeah, then... Then that'd be okay. It'd be like the battle yeah. hellion, except they can switch back. Yeah, yeah. Except that would be ridiculous because a giant probe that attacks and does decent damage. That could be bad. Only cost, yeah, fifty minutes. I mean, <laughs> that's it'd, it'd that's be an extremely really. cheap melee unit. Be like super zealous that costs fifty minerals. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Interesting. So back to their discussion with medevac speed. I think it wouldn't work because the medevacs would go too far ahead of your army when moving. In a way. Like when you're using like a marine marauder kind of thing, they go too far ahead to, and they just get picked off by an enemy. Well, like if you got intercepted kind of thing, your medevacs could be picked off pretty fast before your even your troops get there. Yeah. So I don't know how well that would work. Mm. Well, it's hard to uh, determine. Yeah, yeah, I, I have to agree. Um. So, do you want to tell we about a sidetrack again? <laughs> yes, and here's another sidetrack on bad custom here, but. Do you want to tell your experience with uh, patch 1.5? All right. So 1.5, in my eyes, has been a complete waste. Mainly because I've had problems installing it. Very bad problems. If any of you guys had problems installing it. But uh, I basically had, well, I could tell you the whole story, but that would take three minutes at least. But, so basically I ended up... Uh, trying to install it once, then that didn't work. So then I went to the Blizzard support thing. And the first reply was about something about changing your language 
on it causing problems? Well, I hadn't even installed it yet, so that doesn't really help. So I reply back, and then an actual person, well, the other guy is probably an actual person too, but a uh, guy actually gives me some help, but none of those suggestions worked. So I kept, like, reinstalling StarCraft while well, I tried reinstalling it once before, before trying to do it. But yeah, so I kept trying to install StarCraft again. It finally worked in the fourth try. Four times. So, not sure why the fourth time was so different, but, yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, um, I patched while you were away, and it took me like five minutes. Stranger? Okay. Yeah, and I don't know if it works, but we'll see you tomorrow when we cast. Yes, yes. So I think we've kind of reached our limit on how much we can talk about this. Yes, yes. And I'm sweating like mad here. It's really hot now for some reason. <laughs> I mean, it's 84 degrees here. I'm not used to hot weather. Well, we've had some enough of weather. Three days. Recently, a lot of them actually. Hmm. I don't know yeah, where you guys really, really, are. Really hot these days. You, you, the viewers are, but it, it's been really weird this last year, weather-wise. Yeah, up, I have to agree with that. Up north, but know, the winter was really warm. Now the summer is it's really, really, really hot. Well, I guess it's on the <laughs> same pattern, but I think yeah, we talked. So about I guess that concludes this video. <laughs> All right. So, peace out. Comment, rate, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, and share your opinion in the comments. Yes, share your opinion, and I'll post the um, links to the forum. Yes, I shall. All right, I'm code. I'm Jeff Burke. Signing off.